Uh, there is a push on um, from parts of the parliament to lift the age at which people should be held accountable for their crimes and potentially be able to go to things like juvenile jail. Currently, the system says that the age of criminal responsibility in Australia is 10. They want to lift that. You can't, that you can't send anyone to jail for anything until they're 14. Have a look. Around 600 Australian children aged between 10 and 13 are currently locked up in detention centres. But several crossbench MPs and lobby groups claim that's far too young. We don't let 10-year-olds have Facebook accounts. We don't let 10-year-olds drive. They're not allowed to vote because we recognise that they are too young to do these things. If we can keep young children out of detention, the chance of their re-offending into adulthood is greatly diminished. Currently, Australian children can be charged with a crime from age 10. But the United Nations recommends the age of criminal responsibility be at least 14. The UN Centre Alliance MP Rebecca Sharkey has introduced a private member's bill to raise the age, and she has crossbench support. More than 70% of children in youth detention are Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander. Campaigners say not enough is being done to keep kids in school and out of lockup. There are a lot of successful programs being run out in the community, um, such as justice reinvestment initiatives, where there are alternatives to keeping children away from the justice system. A report into raising the age of criminal responsibility will be presented to the federal and state attorneys general next month. Emily Burley, Sky News. Richard, this feels like a lobby group has turned up at Parliament with a reasonable... Uh sob story taken from the angle about Indigenous kids and those people have all fallen for it. This is ridiculous. How do you equate having a Facebook account with what you should do with somebody who physically assaults another human being? Well, it's not just physically assaults. If, if you can go through the north of Australia and, and ask yourself how many homes get broken into on such a regular basis, I mean, and, and, and then you say, well, all we're going to do is say to them, well, there, there, you've been a naughty boy. Um, um, and pat them on the head, kick them in the bum and say, that's it. Well, it's not it. Uh, if you don't do something about it, I think that the situation just gets worse. And I'm, I'm really disappointed that people go on like that because that is ignorance personified and ignorance in action. Well, exactly. But it's this thing, Janine, where, uh, again, OK, let's imagine there's a whole series of diversionary programs after doing something terrible, right? Well, when you're 14... If you've been hanging out with the wrong crowd and all these programs don't work and you've been getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse, what crime do you reckon you'll actually go to jail for when you're 14? Yeah, I'm, I'm not as convinced on this. I was a bit surprised that the age is as low as 10. I know in a lot of countries it is higher. I think 14 is probably a bit high. I would go to 12, but so long as they're in a juvenile, we're not putting them in an adult jail, so long as they're in juvenile detention. And I think there should be, obviously, an argument for they should look at the um, how extreme the crime is, because you don't want to be locking up 10-year-old kids for things that don't warrant it. So maybe 12 and be a bit more judicious in what oh. constitutes locking up. I'm with you. 